Hey, what is up guys? Cody here, bringing you a eh, kind of a different video. As you can tell, I'm probably going to do a battle log video, and if you're assuming that, then you are completely 100% right. I seen another YouTuber do this, and he and it, it looked very entertaining. I watched it, and I thought it was very entertaining to see, because it showed like super in-depth into what like what he used, and I can't remember exactly who it was. It was either Level Cap, Matimio, or X-Factor. It was one of the three, I, I believe. But, um... Uh, I will show you most of my stats, if not all of my stats. All right. So starting off, my skill is a three three nine, and it it has been higher than that. It's just here recently. I've been doing a, trying to get a lot of gameplays with stuff, so I'm using guns that I normally wouldn't use. So I'm not like in my comfort zone, but I'm you know I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you guys out by showing you guns that I think are good and guns that could potentially help you in the long run if you want to use like my kind of my weapons and stuff. But all right, my uh, my KD is a 2.11, my score per minute is a 5.53, my kill per minute is 0 0.92. Now I play a lot of Conquest, which is the reason why my kill per minute is low. And where I play on console, we don't have Conquest large, so we stay to a 12v12. So it's not like the most amount of players you could have on like a big big map, but we we make the best of it on the old console. My kills. I have 4,108 kills. My score, I'm really bad at reading numbers, but you guys can see that it's in the 2 million. It's above 2 million, actually. It's probably about to break 3 million here very soon. And I've logged 74 hours. <laughs> 74 hours and 24 minutes. That is ridiculous. I've been playing this game pretty much nonstop since the, since Battlefield came out. And I still go to school and stuff. So I'm. it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to, you know, get in the, get in the groove to make a video. But I, I'm trying my hardest to keep you guys entertained and keep you guys updated on what guns I like and what guns I think you guys should try out. All right, we'll look at my service stars. So for the medic, I've been using the medic class a lot here recently. There for a little bit, at the very beginning of the game, I used the engineer kit with nothing but carbines. So I had, I had like every single carbine unlocked within like the first, I think it was like within the first week, if even, if, if even before that. I cannot talk today, so this is becoming a problem. All right. And then for my engineer kit, like I said, I have three service stars for that because I use it a lot at the beginning. And then recon, I have one uh, support. I don't have any. It seems to be that no one uses support in Battlefield. Excuse me. Because a lot of people, I don't know what it is because the support kit's really good. Most of the LMGs are fantastic, but a lot of people just don't like to use them. And I'm one of them. I just don't like to use it. I don't know what it is about it. But I, I like to use it in Battlefield 3. It was really fun to use it in that game. But I just don't, I don't know. I don't really like it that much in this game. And then commander mode, I barely use it at all because you know it's just where you can't get a squad together very easily in this game. It's it's kind of it's kind of weird to have a um, commander that is like you can't actually communicate with. He's just kind of telling you where to go through um, through like the already already pre-made uh, voice things. You know what I'm talking about. And then, <laughs> all right, my top weapon is the AK-5C, a fantastic carbine, by the way. If you guys want a review on that, I will be more than happy to do it because it is a super good gun, super effective at range, at close range, medium range, and hell, even long range if you want to go for it because this thing will completely melt kids, I promise. And then my top vehicle is the DV-15, which is an attack boat, which is super good, by the way, if you run, like, um, TV missiles and the... See, there's a 25 or the 30, whichever is the second one you unlock, which I believe is the 30, I want to say. The millimeter cannon with the TV missiles is super effective. So give that a try. It's super easy to level up with the attack boat, like to get more things unlocked for it. It's super easy. So just give it a try, and I guarantee you'll have a good time doing it. All right, and my leaderboards I'm division one in the world for score per minute. What is score? Score. Jeez. And then I'm not sure what this one is because I used to know these ones. I used to know exactly which one these are. But it's been a long time since I've been in battle log on the on the computer, so bear with me. Conquest, I have 21 service stars because I don't really play anything else besides Conquest. Like Conquest, and I play a little bit of Obliteration with friends, but mostly just Conquest. So that's why you guys see most of my gameplays and stuff on Conquest. Alright, weapons. We're only going to show the top 10 weapons. AK-5C, Ace-23, Ace-52 CQB, Scar-H. M416, M4 Carbine, CZ805, PT2, or no, P226, Type 88, and then AEK. And a lot of these guns I barely use. Like, you can see the amount of time I've used them with a lot of these guns. Because I just, I don't know. 
A lot of guns I don't like to use very much, but I use them a lot for like a very short amount of time, but I won't use them a lot progressively. The Ace-23 though, I have been using that thing a lot more than a lot of these other guns, and I just unlocked it like last week. So, alright, let's go into vehicles. I'm trying to keep this kind of short and sweet and to the point, but I'm pretty sure we've already exceeded a pretty good amount of time, so we'll probably be wrapping this up here soon. Like I said, the attack boat's super good. Five service stars with it already. I have 197 kills in it because it's probably one of my favorite things to do. Use TV missiles, I'm telling you, you'll love them. Console, it's a little hard to control, but PC, you guys have no problem controlling TV missiles. All right, um, we'll go to my loadouts real quick. I'll show you guys these, and then I will wrap this up. So my assault, I have the H23, because this is hands down my favorite gun in the game. We got the Coyote Sight, the green, the green laser, and then the, com I don't know if it's the compositor, I don't know what that thing's called, but it's one, it's something. You guys can see the picture, and then you can figure it out. And I've got the M9 secondary, and then you guys can see all that. And then Engineer, I've been trying to use the PDWs a lot more, so I slapped on the MX4 because it's probably one of the best PDWs I've unlocked right now. With the Coyote Sight, Laser, and the Suppressor. And then I just have the normal little things that you would have. And then for the LMG or the Support Kit, I have the Type 88 LMG with the Coyote Sight, Laser, and a Suppressor. You guys can't see the pattern here. The Coyote Sight's probably my favorite red dot in the game. I would use that over any of the red dots because it's super good with the, with the peripheral vision it doesn't cut out a lot of things that the reflex sight does and the what is the other one the cobra the cobra doesn't do it as bad as the reflex but i stick with the coyote because i like it the most and then with the recon i have the sv98 which i normally don't ever use i just kind of slapped it on before i started doing this because i just wanted i was bored so i put that on there but yeah all right, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment. If you didn't enjoy it, let me know, because you potentially could not have enjoyed that because I was rambling a little bit, and maybe it wasn't enjoyable to watch in general. But if you guys liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, anything you guys want to do. I will see you guys later.